Hey guys, this is this is the about average gamer. We're going to go through the kind of what I call junk achievements on Lego Jurassic World. There's 120 achievement points you can get that are just more or less random things that Telltale uses to fill in. The first of these is Hello John. All we have to do is set both characters to John Hammond and boom, there we go. And just in free play mode. The second one is called the Human Piece of Toast. It's Give Timmy a Shock. So we're basically going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to set the first character to Timmy Murphy. There it is down here at the center, the second row from the bottom. Any of the three work. We're going to set the other character to our friend Jeffrey Brown that was in the first episode. And he's got a prod, right? So we're just going to take a smack to him a little bit and boom, we'll get to him and piece of toast. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to, since we started out on Main Street, we're going to run up to the visitor center. We're in the Jurassic World movie level, as you can see. And we're going to do the to create character achievements. First one, just a custom character. For the all I got was this t-shirt achievement. Which is 20 points for doing next to nothing. Let's walk in the visitor center. Go in this first door on the right. And there's the character creator that if you play the other Lego games, but pretty much all have this. And I don't think you actually have to do anything, but in this case, we'll change his name. We'll just call him Dude. And tick, 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 tick. And another tick, 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 tick to get an E. <laughs> and after that, we just scroll across and hit some A's to clear off the rest of it. Okay, his name's Dude now. And just for fun, we'll change his character type to a paleontologist, which means he comes equipped with a shovel like Alan Grant. And we'll just hit a B, and boom, we're out, and there's the achievement. And we'll do the same thing for dinosaurs. We're going to walk into the Hammond Creation Lab next door. At this point, if you finish the story, you should have at least the amber for the... Triceratops, you're pretty much forced to get it when you exit that level. So we'll go to Triceratops. And again, I don't think you have to do anything, but we'll change his color just for fun. So we'll pick a color and we'll hit a B to get out. And once we exit the creator, boom, there we are, 20 for that. Next thing we're going to do. It's a little different, and that one's called Does Anybody Want a Soda? Which means we need Dennis Nerdy. So we've unlocked him by playing. Notice there's two. There's one 145,000, one for 100,000. Either works. We just grab the one that's 100,000. And we're going to go to our map, go back to what I think was the second movie, the Lost World movie, and a level called Landing Site. So you played this now. Right, we're going to go into free play. Just hit the landing side at the very first of the level. And we're going to play it as Dennis Nerdy. Yeah, naturally, you can change to him. You can go into the level as anybody and change to him now that you bought him. Hit the very first of the level. When we get there, the very first of the level, there's a little group of compies right behind the plane. They're going to come out and try to grab us. We're going to let instead, we'll just hit the X, let them throw a can out of one of them. Boom. Somebody want to see it. Next, now that we've got that one, we're going to go for non-machine compatible. A 10 point achievement. Which says use a hacker terminal as Alan Grant. So, we're going to trot back over to Main Street again. that was featured during the Under Attack next to the last level on this game, I mean on this movie. There's a hacker terminal. We're going to switch characters to Alan Grant. Let's Alan Grant. 
walk over and just get a B to access the terminal and he says, nope, I'm not machine compatible. So there's that one. The next thing we need to do is set both characters as raptors for the pack hunter achievement. But for to do that, we have to have that raptor unlocked. So we need the raptor amber, which is in the restoring power maintenance level. So we're going to go there and free play. Make sure you've got Ellie Sadler. This is, again is in the restoring power on the Jurassic World movie island. Walk down, just hang to the right, and jump in the poop, and boom, there's that amber for the raptors. So we now unlock the raptors. You may have done that already in story mode. It was available in story mode. Uh, but just in case you didn't, that's where you find it. And now, we're going to do the same thing we did with John Hammond at the very first of this little video. And it's changed to a raptor. Switch the other character. Change him to a raptor. And now, there's the achievement for Pack Hunter. Now that we've got raptors available, let's shag back over to Main Street. And we actually want to go to what's called the East Boardwalk, but we don't see if that's on the map here. And then we're back to the Jurassic World movie. And no, uh, I haven't unlocked that map point yet. I try to normally unlock map points when I see them, but that's one I missed. So we'll just go to Main Street and walk over there. For those of you that are wondering, yes, I did clip out the, the long waits from all the game loads. Okay, we're going to try to the left here. And check that, and that's not the map point. That's another attack level. We'll keep going. And this is the East Boardwalk area. There's a pitting zoo. You jump in the pitting zoo. And you can see there's a soccer goal in front of us. We want to change to a raptor. Alright, and we're going to pick the raptor and kick the soccer ball into the goal is all we need to do. It's a little easier said than done. You've probably done this in the like to be in studs level and some other Lego games, but just keep doing the best you can to aim the ball, and fortunately that bush actually helped line me up, and boom meow, let's kick a goal. Now we've got one more to go, I mean two more to go, we want to do, we want to be thrilled, which says we're going to place a custom dinosaur in a pack. So, do that. The paddocks, if you're not familiar, or any of the areas where they are normally like a zoo cell for dinosaurs, but in the game they appear with a blue pad where you can call up a dinosaur. So we're going to look around for a good one here for a second. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The original Jurassic Park movie, and there is one down on this territory, but that one's not too great because the paddock's locked until you get the gold break in the area. So let's go find herbivore area. And there's the herbivore territory. So let's go to that one. Here we want to just jump in the paddock, which is already unlocked for us. You may have remembered going through this between levels as we played through in the story. And we're going to head over to the blue dino pad, and we're just going to call up our custom our custom triceratops that we made a few minutes ago. So as we do. Boom, there's our achievement for that. 
So now we have one more to go, and that's the building blocks of life. This is to build a Lego object using Mr. DNA. This one is, is merely to do the normal build that you do when you build anything in the game. And first we gotta buy Mr. DNA, who is 500,000, but he appears right there in the character's list. Mr. DNA is unlocked by finishing all the story mode, by the way. So you do have to finish the story mode to get this one. Then we're just gonna go to the prologue level. Again, in free play, and we're gonna play it as Mr. DNA. Right at the first, we go in. And we'll do the rapture area. And if you will remember, this being the very first story mode level of the game. Right at the first, you have to build the, the little lift. So, I'm going to go smack that around, get the pieces, build it, and since it's built, boom, there's our team app. And that's it. That's 120 achievements in a course of a 12 minute video. Hope you guys like this. Hope it helps somebody out. If you do, I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel. 